It's a little common area, and from what I was told, you can kind of see the markings on the wall and the difference from the white to the, where all the brown mud came in. I was told it was, you know, three feet so high right through here. And I mean, you can kind of see the destruction where it just comes through. And I would say more than likely most of these drawers are ruined, but you know, they're, they're trying to keep everything as intact as possible, keep it all salvaged to see what they can and can't use. This way, there's a library right around the corner. Yeah. See all the water damage coming through. There we go. Library right through here. Can we can we get the other guy on the camera? You can you? Hey. Hey, ma'am. Hey there. How are we doing? I'm good. We're just coming in and and looking at the the damage that the storm caused. Uh oh. Yeah. I mean, it's it's terrible. Mm -hmm. So when the water came through here, about about where was it at? Just did it, it was up to the it was up to the third step in the hallway. Oh, wow. Here, uh, it came up. Uh, I didn't see it when it when it was at its top, the top part, but it came as high as that third step. Oh, oh absolutely. It's so That's so awesome. blessed. I mean, it's so humbling to walk in and see how many people are rich here. Yeah, here to help. Like I was telling them earlier. I mean, yeah. just. The people throughout the community, the, the people throughout the state, the All missions is, that are coming out here helping. I know. I mean, it's, it's really, really yeah, humbling. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, just, community come together through all this devastation. It's, yeah. First wow. time, in my 77 years, this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this in the mountains, and I've lived here all my life. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We, we've met some of the nicest people I've ever seen. So. You know, God bless you for what you're doing. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Anything yeah. we can do is what we're here. Oh, you're doing, here you're doing it already. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. You see, like, all the mud stains left on the steps coming up through here. All the water. See how far back the creek was. Right across the Yeah. The creek being that far back, coming up through here like come on through sir. Our pastor was killed in an accident back at the end of January. Oh man. He uh, was by vocation. And he ran a uh, uh, grading business and he was uh, on the skid steer grading some uh, earth on a hillside. Oh, no. And the ground gave way and he rolled no, down right. and they killed him. Yeah. So we've been without pastor since uh, the end of January. So it's been a, been a rough year. That is it. I mean, that's, yeah. that's Appreciate y'all being here, though. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, we, whatever we can do to help. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, our sanctuary did not get flooded. The water came in down here and it flooded all the rooms down here up until about that third step. That's amazing. So, but uh, you can come to the sanctuary if you'd like to. Once you get up to here, we didn't have any more water. And so this area. It's fine. Yeah. We've got a couple of pipes down here. <clears throat> and there, our sanctuary is untouched. Untouched. That's amazing. I don't know why that projector is on. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. So y'all got power stuff back here, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Power got turned on here Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Nice. And I got power back at my house on Thursday night at 1030. So, about two weeks without a without electricity, but fortunate because my house wasn't damaged and uh, I didn't lose any cars. So I guess y'all saw the cars in the creek down there. We did, yeah. Lost cars, and uh, and so being without electricity is a uh, minor inconvenience compared to what's compared happened. to everything. Yeah, else. compared Just to what, what a lot of people went through. Brings back out. I, I like used to like to do some camping, so I tried to keep the mindset it was a camping trip. Absolutely, I'm sure. Absolutely. I'm sure you guys have been through stuff like that. Been a lot of camping trips. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh man.
lower shelf? So was there anything on there? Yeah, there was. There was some stuff in some cabinets, but most of the shelves were above the water. Mm -hmm. So we didn't lose a whole lot. Good. And unfortunately, most of the books we lost seem to be children's books. You know? Yeah. Right, yeah. We haven't decided yet. Um, the people that I have talked to have said, Maybe we ought to wait one more week because all of that stuff is going to have to dry. We probably yeah. have parking space, and we don't know about the condition of our furnaces. And the mornings have been really cold, so we're going to try to get a furnace guy in here this week. Um, make sure that that's okay before we try to get people in. It'll be cold in here in the morning. It's, it's, uh, Absolutely, it's a draft. 